Hey everybody, this is Anthony from Into the Dark Room, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about our Vend backend uh, for the photo cart, specifically around pricing and packages and, and formats and so on. So, the first thing we're going to do when we log into our Vend backend is we're going to click on pricing. And you're going to notice that we have a handful of tabs up here for the different things that you can sell. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the a la carte section. You're going to notice that in all of our all of the things that we can sell, they're all going to be set up the same. You're going to be setting up the client you're selling it for, which will be a group, and then you're going to have the pricing that's associated with it. And the reason that we do it that way is so that you can sell to your wedding clients and you can sell different uh, different pricing to your portrait clients and you can sell different pricing to your high school clients and, and, and so on. So for this, we're going to show you that right now I have the wedding client group set up and I have all the formats right here and I can just go ahead and um, start a new group. So let's say I want to now offer destination weddings and I um, want to go ahead and offer different formats to my destination brides. So I'm going to go ahead and create this category uh, in this group called destination wedding and now I'm going to start adding formats to that specific group. So I'm going to offer my 4x6 and it's going to be my width of 4x6 I'm going to go ahead and add a price to it and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And you're going to start to see my formats building out here. I can go ahead and click new, add an 8x10. And I'm going to set the size to 8x10. And then I'm going to add the price of let's say $30 and I'm going to click save. And so these are the a la carte prices when somebody just wants to buy one photo and associate a, a format to it and a price, they can do it through this a la carte pricing. Um, you now have the option to add packages. So I'm going to move over to the packages tab and kind of show you the, the difference now. So packages is a great way to sell a group of, a group of uh, formats. And it's a, it's a great way to say, hey, you know, if you spend $500, you're going to go ahead and get this package. Um, and you're going to see in here that we set it up in a really similar way. So we have uh, our, our groups here. We have our wedding clients and our portrait clients. And I'm going to go ahead and show you right now the sample wedding clients that we have. And you know, we have a, a setup for the first package at 350, the second package at 500, and the third package at 1500. And people will be able to, I think, buy a lot quicker. And people find that packages help sell more. Uh, more product than if they were to just buy a la carte. So we went ahead and added this packaging um, mechanism to it so that you can offer packages. And I'm going to quickly set up. Again, I'm going to say that, well, now we're selling to destination or or now we're selling to corporate uh, clients and, and we're doing portraits for, for corporate clients. And that might be different for my family portraits. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to set up, uh, you know, let's say, let's say corporate uh, clients. And so that's my corporate client group. And now I'm going to start adding packages to them. So I'm going to go ahead and click new. And it, this one's going to be uh, the, the um, small business package. And I'm going to associate an image to it. I'm going to put a price on, let's say it's $100. And the shipping is going to be uh, $5. I can write some text in here. I could explain what formats they get. Um, so I can you know, type all that information in right here and click save. And then once I have the basic structure set up, the, the description and the image, I can go ahead and now start associating prints and formats to it. So I'm going to come down here and click prints and formats, and I'm going to click new. And I'm going to start saying, okay, well, the first, this, this small package, you're going to go ahead and get uh, a 4 by 6 and you're going to get, you know, maybe three of them. And the width and the height are going to be 4 by 6 And I'm going to click save. And you're going to see that my formats are starting to build out for this package. So maybe now you get an 8x10 and you get five of them and the width and height are going to be set to 8x10 and I'm going to click save and again my formats are building out. Well once I have that package all created I'm going to go ahead and click new and I'm going to create a, a second one. So this is just called the second package and you can title it something more creative than that I hope. And I'm going to price this one at 500 and my shipping is maybe $50. I'm going to put in some text here for my description explaining what it is. I'm going to go ahead and add an image. I'm going to click save. And now I'm going to start adding formats to that package. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'll come in here and I'll, I'll add 4 by 6 And I'll say, well, in this package, you get 30 of them. You're paying more. 
and here's another four by six in the height and I click save and so now when we have all our packages set up here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the front end I'm gonna kinda show you what our wedding packages look like on the front end and how somebody actually chooses them so on the front end of Vend if I click on any image and I'm shopping and I wanna go ahead and browse for packages I can shop for packages over here and it's gonna show me all my packages in this area right here so this is uh, the first package this was the second package I put in and the third package and they all correspond to this wedding group so I associated this wedding wedding group with the set that we were just looking at on the front end so somebody can come and actually pick um, which package they're interested in adding to their cart the next thing I want to show you are the products so the products work in a similar fashion to the way the packages work where first you set up your group so I want to set up my wedding my for my wedding clients or my family clients I can come in here and I can set up a whole new group the you know destination bride and I can go ahead and click save and I can start adding um, products to here well I'm going to give you a couple examples of of the products that we would have so something that you might want to offer is maybe like a print calendar well this is a great product to sell through vends because you can come in here and um, in a similar way you can add a, a title an image of the calendar the price the shipping the description and then when you click on it you can go ahead and add prints and formats to it and so you can say I'm offering one one cover image one January image one February image and so on so if somebody were to come into the front end of this and and they were to click on the calendar option they can see what they get and if they add it to their cart and they can say this is my calendar for 2012 add it to my cart they can then start adding items to the calendar and you'll see in here we have the cover image and maybe I want this image to be my cover image and I add it to the cart and then that item goes away so they can very quickly get through and it helps them organize which images are going to be um, associated with that product so we're going to go ahead and just go back to um, this destination bride group that we started and we're going to go ahead and click new and I'm going to set up the, uh, a calendar for them maybe and I'm going to associate an image and I'm going to associate a price maybe the calendars for um, my destination brides are, are more expensive so I make it more expensive and I add maybe more shipping to it and then I have you know the same kind of description and I click save and that becomes the first product in my uh, my destination bride group so when I'm setting up that client set I go ahead and, and I would associate uh, the products that I want to sell and click on the destination brides to associate it and I'll get to that later now we have the papers and I think that's pretty self-explanatory um, again you're gonna go ahead and set up your different your different groups so my papers that I sell to my wedding clients might be different from when I sell to you know family portraits and and so on so I, I have my wedding clients and again you, to set up a category or a group you're gonna go ahead and say destination weddings and I'm gonna click save and it sets up the new group of client that I want to sell to and then I can go ahead and start adding items in here so if I wanted to sell glossy um, and I can put uh, an additional cost associated with that five dollar cost maybe and click save then all my all my options start to form here so maybe I maybe I want matte or I want um, some sort of textured paper and I want to associate ten dollar price there and all my papers for this group are now collected here so on the front end when I'm looking at choosing papers I can go ahead and see in here that I have glossy and matte and so on so the papers again is organized the same way organize your clients first and then associate the types of things you're gonna to sell to that client and modifiers kinda of works the same way uh, for my wedding clients maybe I wanna offer um, certain specialty things like I want to be able to retouch an image um, maybe a lot of my brides are asking me to retouch their images and it's a it's a, a service that I offer so I would come in here and I would again create all my groups that I want to sell to and then I would associate the items and, and I use the retouching an image because it's just a, a great example to upsell uh, something else and, and, and attach it to an image so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the front end and kinda of show you so if I'm if I'm shopping for an image and I like this image right here but maybe there's a blemish that I want you to get rid of and you do offer that this is that modifier is just kind of our miscellaneous category where I can come here to more options and I can say you know I want you to retouch this image and it adds $25 fee 
to that image and maybe when I come in here and, and I and I type a comment um, then I can go ahead and add it to the cart and um, and now it you know upsells and, and, and creates creates a higher sale so in essence that that is our, our pricing uh, structure and how you set up your prices and once you have all that set up and you are setting up one of your sets for uh, one of your clients I'm gonna go ahead and just show you really quick how you apply this information so I'm gonna go over to our sets tab and I'm going to click on um, one of our, our sets that we set up and you're gonna see here that we have items like the a la carte group so maybe I don't I maybe I don't want to sell the wedding packages maybe I want to uh, associate the destination wedding prices from my a la carte group because that's that's who my client is now it's a bride that's gonna be a destination bride and maybe my papers are gonna be different I I wanna offer them the same papers that I offer uh, my portrait clients because I have some things in there that I know this bride will like and um, you know with the modifiers you know I get to choose the same thing so I might offer something different um, I might not offer I might not offer this client anything um, so again you'll, you'll go ahead and set up your your pricing your pricing structure and you'll then come back when you're creating your sets and you'll you'll link them through those drop downs so I hope that was informative and it gives you kind of a, a quick overview of what our price prices and packages and what they are and how they function and if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to contact us through our support or go to into the and we appreciate you listening thanks so much